Hello and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you our budget price cinema camera that I put together. So for our camera, I chose a Canon M50. This is currently available at B&H for $479, body only. Now if you spend an extra $20, you can get the kit lens, which is this lens right here. It's not a bad lens in bright sunlight. Um, it just doesn't have the wide aperture that you would need for the cinematic look. Um, and so you can get the kit lens for next to $20. Uh, for $499, it's not a bad deal because you also get a 64 gig Extreme Pro SD card. And uh, if you search on eBay, you can find a Canon M50 body only for about $400. Now for the lens, I chose the Sigma 30mm 1.4 lens. Um, this is equal to like 48 millimeters. Now for the film look, you want um, as close to a 50 millimeter lens as you can get. So with a 50 millimeter lens, you have the most natural view. This is the same field of view that your vision sees. This is most natural in filming because the viewer is, uh, this is what they're used to. It doesn't compress the image or extend it. This is just most natural and pleasing to the viewer. Now the Sigma 30 millimeter, like I said, it's equal to a 48 millimeter lens. This is very fast. This is f1.4 wide open. Um, this lens is currently available at B&H for $289. And what makes the Canon M50 my choice is not only is it light, but it has great image quality. The autofocus is it's just nothing short of amazing. Um, it also has a touch screen. Uh, if there's something in the screen that you want to focus, just touch it and it will focus very fast. So to get the film look, we're going to be shooting at 24 frames per second. The Sigma lens has a nice soft bokeh and um, if you're shooting uh, on a sunny day lens with a wide aperture, of course it's going to be too wide, so you'll need a nice neutral density filter. This is actually a variable neutral density filter. It, uh, see if I can, it, it, just by turning the ring, it can uh, change the density of the filter. Now the next part of our setup is the cage. I chose the small rig cage uh, designed specifically for the Canon M50. Um, the link will be in the description. It fits nice and snug around this camera. Uh, I ordered three pieces, the, the cage, the microphone extension, and the handle. Um, altogether these cost right around $100. And the link will be in the description for each of these pieces. And for our budget price microphone, I chose the Boya BYMM1 from Baygood.com for $27.71. The microphone is compact and the audio sounds uh, more like it's a $100 mic. I've got the windscreen on and this microphone has a... What I like is it's not too long. It's got a nice short profile. Yet, the quality is really good. I was very happy with it. And the microphone comes with the windscreen. Um, some people call this the dead cat. I just call it a windscreen. Anyways, um, on a wide shot, uh, with this microphone extension, if you had a wide lens, it's, the windscreen still won't show up the way it's set with the extension. Now, for our on-camera LED light, I chose the Viltrox VL162T. It sells for $51.99 on Amazon, 
but uh, when I bought it, it was on sale for $37.09 and it included an MP battery um, it included a charger for the MP battery now this light has a digital display in the back uh, let's see if I can get it and you can set the brightness uh, color temperature I've owned three or four LED lights in the past and one which cost like hundred fifty dollars and by far this one is the best one the light is so bright I've got it set oh 25 percent at the moment let's turn it way up there we go that's full brightness if I shine it this way you'll see it is very bright <coughs> so that's a Viltrox light and um, it is so bright that even at 20% it might be too bright for some of the stuff. So I would place this filter, this lens diffusion right over it. This is magnetized, just snaps on and it stays in place. And they actually have um, some different colors for effects like yeah, you can, for effects and color temperature, you got this green one. It's hard to see. Let me turn the light down all the way. It's hard to see that that's green. And we have a blue one. And a red one. These are magnetized, they just snap in place. <clears throat> Very good light. Now for the pieces that I bought for my setup, I didn't want the cheapest of stuff, I wanted good quality at a cheap price. So I'm very happy with the microphone, extremely happy with the light, the 50mm Sigma lens, and the cage. Now the light also came with a bracket to connect it to uh, the hot shoe or um, cold shoe adapter on the handle. Um, I couldn't, <laughs> I misplaced a bracket that came with it, but I had a, another one that was similar. But the one that came with it was actually better than this one. Now those of you that are familiar with our channel know that we go to Carowinds Theme Park quite a bit. Um, Except for this year, because of the lockdown, it is currently closed. But this would be my setup if I were to go to Carowinds right now. I have my normal lens down here. I could put the, since it will be bright sunlight, I would probably be using the kit zoom lens. Or if I upgraded it to another lens. Um, but I have the DJI Osmo action camera on top. Now, if I'm shooting rides, uh, usually my wife and daughter ride the rides and I'm outside watching them and filming them. But uh, I like to have uh, an action camera grabbing all the widescreen footage. And a regular DSLR, um, I've used the Canon MD Mark II in the past. Um, this is going to be a lot lighter and uh, like I said, with this camera, the autofocus is amazing, so this will be better for our purposes. Um, but yeah, so what I normally do is shoot a ride, I zoom in, and uh, I have zoom shots, and I automatically have wide shots. And I just, in editing, cut back and forth. But this is the way I do it. Um, some of you has, have asked me in the past what I use for equipment. Um, this is new. I haven't used the setup at Carowinds yet, so in the future, all of our footage will be coming from this. And I have my setup sitting here on a Manfrotto tabletop tripod. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you should be interested in that. It is strong enough to hold my setup here, um, and I will be using 
the tabletop tripod. When we go out to restaurants, I will place my camera on the tripod. Um, yeah, we do some food reviews, restaurant reviews, and uh, I don't like to be too conspicuous. I probably wouldn't have the light on, probably wouldn't have the mic screen on. But this was so for this video, I mainly just want to show you my setup, my rig, um, and give you the link to all the parts. I highly recommend this setup. It has worked for me. Um, since we're in shutdown mode, we really have nothing to shoot at the moment. Hopefully soon. So let's just call this video part one. And uh, we'll show you some of the footage in the future. In the next video. In the next part of this setup.